A domestic kamikaze attack was foiled yesterday after an off-duty airline pilot tried to shut the engines off a plane mid-flight. Authorities say Joseph Emerson was riding in the jump seat of the cockpit, a seat in front of the plane usually reserved for off-duty pilots when the flight sold out. And at some point during the flight, Emerson attempted to make his way to the pilot equipment and shut down the plane's engines. Thankfully, the crew was able to subdue Emerson until police picked him up after the flight was diverted to Portland. He's now been charged with 83 counts of attempted murder. Now, we scrubbed his social media profile, and we only found two political posts. One, asking Democrats for a bailout during COVID, and another, calling out Trump on January 6th. Now, police haven't established any motives for why Emerson tried to kill nearly 100 Americans in a kamikaze attack. The airline industry hardened its security after 9-11, and introduced new protocols, technologies, equipment to keep the threats out of the cockpit. But what happens when the threat's coming from within the cockpit? Ryan Secco is a retired airline pilot, and he joins me now. Ryan, have you ever heard anything like this before? Uh, Jesse, great to be on the show. I've heard of things like this we've seen in the past uh, the majority of threats actually in the airlines and in the airport actually come from internal. So as a, uh, a corporate pilot, as an airline pilot, we were trained for this. I actually went through a program called the FFDO program, which is a federal flight deck officer program. And they train thousands of pilots to actually carry uh, uh, firearms in the flight deck. But it's a huge issue. If this is true, if what people are saying is true... Uh, this will be an issue moving forward because as a pilot, you really depend and count on that jump seat to get to and from work. Yeah, so the jump seat guy starts almost tackling the pilot. He tries to take the aircraft down. They subdued him physically. So you're saying these pilots are usually strapped. They could have shot him, but instead they wrestled him to the ground? Well, y yeah, so FFDOs are carrying firearms. I don't believe that the two pilots uh, in command of this aircraft were FFDOs, but we are trained. And, you know, the jump seat allowing, you know, not only was this a pilot, but this was a pilot for the company that has not only been there for 30, 69 days, he's been there for nine years. And from the sounds of it on the streets, like I am still connected with all of the pilots. Like this is out of left field. Uh, nobody was expecting this. Um, and if it's true, everything that is being said, there will need to be new protocols and new uh, 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 um, uh, systems in place to prevent this from happening in the future. Yeah, we don't know if this guy is mentally ill. We don't know if he's pro Hamas. We don't know anything about this guy. All we know is that he tried to kamikaze a jet down in U.S. soil and kill 80 Americans from the inside. What are people saying about this guy? Well, you know, word, word on the street, uh, you know, people are shocked, you know, as, as a tight community, you know, there's, you know, 300 plus thousand pilots who are commercial active. I don't know the exact number in the U.S., but everybody knows everybody, Jesse. Um, people are, you know, shooken up about this, you know, not only from a standpoint of uh, a flight deck, but this is a serious crime. I mean, there's 80 people, 75 people on this, you know, EMB 170 aircraft going uh, down to San Francisco where he was, you know, where he lived. Uh, so he was commuting. But, you know, what people are saying is that, you know, where's the response from the airlines? Sure. Where's the response from, where's Pete you know, Buttigieg? from Joe Emerson? You know, yeah. we, we, need, we need answers. Where we need answers. I haven't seen Pete. I guess he put out a little statement. That's fine. This guy lives in San Francisco. Who knows? Anything's possible. Thank you so much. And I'm glad, uh, I'm glad we got guys like you. Let's put it that way. Well, Jesse, J Jesse, I'm here to keep you safe, man. Anything I can do to help you out, you let me know, okay? We appreciate it. Thanks so much.